that though, you know what I mean? When I was a little kid, I had this fascination with war and the military and the, and the United States Army and Marines. I had a poster on my wall that said the few, the proud, there were Marines. And my father would always make fun of me. And I think that was his way of instilling pride, is by teasing me and saying that I wasn't Puerto Rican. He'd be like, ah, tu no eres Puerto Rican, tu eres Americano. I'd be like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Puerto Rican. Read them in el vocero. 
Put your hands on a woman, she'll blow off your little huevos. No other tribal ladies live better in stilettos. Most beautiful is to see my sisters make it out the ghetto. We are so blessed. My grandmother cooks a sancocho for the soul and has to to make a stretch. While my grandfather kills chickens in the projects. That's nothing new to me. That's why I put it down for the Capico kings of my community. I'm representing Puerto Rocks. Reggaeton, hip hop. Miguel Cotto won't stop with a left hook. Tan duro. We even got the king of the boy bands. Menudo. <laughs> my people got a reputation that we party like we don't play. We'll raid your baby shower and start a party in your hallway. <laughs> Can I get a baya? Bump your fist like this a little higher. Throw your politics in a bonfire. Can I get a baya? Politics in the barrios and Bump your fist like this a little higher. Throw your politics in a bonfire. Cause to be Puerto Rican is to be fly. But to be Boricua is to be so much fly. Yeah.